Hi students, welcome to Engineering Graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this video, we are going to discuss a problem from projection of plane surfaces. This question has come for Calicut University long back. I have not seen it anywhere else after, afterwards. The question says like this. A triangle ABC 50 mm side a triangle ABC 50 mm side has a square hole a square hole 16 mm side at its center a square hole 16 mm side at its center it has got the side one side parallel to the side AB of the triangle one side parallel to the side AB of the triangle this triangle is suspended on a point P suspended on a point P 18 mm from the, the it is suspended on a point P on the side BC which is 18 mm from C the point P is 18 mm from C it is on the side BC so the lamina is suspended on P, P. the surface of the lamina makes 30 degrees to VP the surface of the lamina makes 30 degrees to VP and the point P where it is suspended is 50 mm, 50 above HP. Looks like a confusing question when you read. Not very easy. Let's do it. That's why like. A dash, B dash, C dash, center, I am drawing the square at the center, A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash, this is the center. Plan A B C D G E F. Now locate P. The side of the Square is 16, 1, 6. P is 3 dash. This distance is C dash, P dash, 18 mm. 18 mm. So it is going to be suspended. It's going to be suspended about P. What happens when it is suspended? The line connecting P dash to O dash, I mark the center as O dash. The line connecting P dash to O dash become vertical, isn't it? When it is suspended, the point of suspension and the center of gravity, assume it is a, it has got a center of gravity, it's a plane figure. Still assume it's center. I don't say center of gravity, it's center. It's center P dash O dash becomes vertical. Line connecting P dash O dash become vertical. So what do you have to do? You have to redraw this elevation. Redraw this elevation such that first of all locate P. 50 mm above the ground. Okay. This is 50. So say 50 mm above the ground. P dash. P dash. Make P dash. O dash vertical. O dash vertical. Measure this angle. And draw a line. Measure this angle and draw a line. On that, locate C dash. Let's let's uh, measure it. Otherwise, we will end up in trouble. Actually, this is, I am almost sure. Okay. Okay. 
V dash. Now take this distance and cut arcs. To get the triangle corner K dash. Now inside this, it's not good enough. I don't know whether. Okay, assume it is okay. Okay, now construct the square inside. A dash, B dash, C dash, P dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash. You have to be extremely careful in reproducing the points you have to be extremely careful in reproducing the points i will reproduce the square my square becomes a, looks a little bit big i am reducing the size there okay now drop vertical projectors down reproduce the plan same level a b c now drop this down d e F G okay. Actually Actually This is the simple position But you cannot directly draw this Why you cannot draw this Because you cannot keep O dash P dash perpendicular to X Y line And then draw the triangle. That is why you have drawn this for convenience. Then you have shifted to this position. Agreed? Now, this is not sufficient. The question says, the question says, the side with the surface of the lamina is inclined to VP. The surface of the lamina is inclined to VP by 30 degrees. What does it mean? You have to redraw this plan. You have to redraw this plan. How do you redraw? Take this length. Redraw this plan. This is C. This is B. This is A. This is G. So I give a suffix D1, F1, E1. Agree? This angle is 30 degrees. Draw vertical projectors up. Draw horizontal projectors. When you draw these two dimensions, there can be small changes. When you draw these two dimensions, sometimes this A dash may come on the this side of C dash. Now C dash is on the extreme left. Sometimes A dash may come. I don't know. You have to draw into dimension and check. Okay. Now let us locate the point C. C1 dash. B1 dash. A1 dash. Connect them. Triangle is obtained. Now. D1 dash, E1 dash, F1 dash, G1 dash. And if you draw a horizontal line through O dash,
O O1 O1 dash that also can be done so very very interesting question you have to draw this then tilt it and to make this condition satisfied then draw the plan then redraw the plan and project derivation we are drawn use, uh, using redrawing method we have adopted redrawing method to do that now if you do this if you do this by auxiliary projection method if you do this by auxiliary projection method it becomes extremely easy let's try doing it by auxiliary projection method i have left the space i have left the space in this on this side to enable us to use auxiliary projection method so what you do is you extend this p dash o dash and somewhere draw x1 y1 x1 y1 and project a new plan take the distance to the plan and the mark you get I am erasing these extensions. Now, one thing you have to be careful. This point, where do you draw x1 by 1? x1 by 1 is drawn in such a way that p dash is 50 mm above x1. Agreed? When I drew it, I say it is, looks a little bit more. But after drawing x1 by 1, after drawing x1 by 1, I mean, after extending O1 P1, after extending O1 P1, on that line, measure 50 mm below P dash, so that you draw X1 Y1. Then you get the new plan. Now you have to name this A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1, G1, and if you want, you can also mark between D and F. Okay. Uh, this projector may come a little bit to the right side. F1, this is F1. Somewhere in between is O1. Okay, now the question says the lamina is now parallel to BP. The lamina is 30 degrees to BP. What you have to do? You have to extend the lamina, extend this line, and somewhere, somewhere, draw X2, Y2. x2 y2 30 degrees to this and then draw vertical projectors then take the distance of the elevation from x1 y take the distance of the uh, elevation this take the distance of the elevation from x1 y1 and mark on the respective projector what, what are the distances which you take i will change the color A dash is this far away. So on the projector through A. A one dash. B dash is this far away. So on the projector through B. B one dash. C dash is this far away. This far away. So somewhere here. C one dash. Connect them. That elevation is this. Okay. Now, D. D1 dash. E1 dash. EF1 dash. one dash and if you draw a projector through O you will get O one dash
d1 dash e1 dash e1 dash f1 dash f1 dash f1 dash g1 dash g1 dash d1 dash d1 dash e1 dash f1 dash g1 dash and somewhere here o1 dash now this is x2 y2 this is the elevation this is the plan x2 y2 plan elevation this angle is 30 degrees so this is almost same as this this can be drawn within 15 minutes but this will consume lot of time redrawing this will redrawing this to this will consume minimum 15 minutes so the total drawing will take 30 minutes whereas in this case the total drawing will take maximum 15 minutes now if i draw this plan a little bit below it could have become more neat so that these things will not mix up in this case it mixed up because this plan is nearer to x y or else okay or else i could have taken the elevation a little bit on the top i could have taken the elevation a little bit above x y so that it could have been clean without mixing up now look at this plan elevation then x1 y1 x1 y1 auxiliary plan auxiliary plan then x2 y2 red red x2 y2 red final elevation this is very quick i hope you understand i hope you understand it's a very interesting question uh, as i said it came for calicut university long back okay thank you